Morning, everyone. I'd like to call the Human Resources Committee of Bruce County uh, to order for our Thursday, October the 18th meeting. First thing on the agenda is the Declaration of Pecuniary Interest. Remind everyone it's their only responsibility to do so if and when an item uh, occurs. Action items is uh, fit for work update and Marianne. Good morning. Thank you very much, Chair. Um, so the uh, HR department is bringing forward to you a new policy called, uh, well, an updated policy called E6, Fit for Work. And so um, basically the policy is outlining our expectations of people when they are coming to work. So the federal government, as we know, has passed Bill C-45, the Cannabis Act, to legalize recreational cannabis, effective October 17, 2018. Although there are no statutory obligations in Ontario's Occupational Health and Safety Act that specifically address substance use in the workplace, it is a best practice to implement a policy that deals with drug and alcohol use, including the use of cannabis as part of our due diligence requirements. The primary impacts in the workplace with respect to cannabis legalization includes keeping a safe work environment, ensuring policies are implemented that protect the safety of all employees, address workplace impairment arising from substance abuse and drugs, both legal and illegal, including medical cannabis, while balancing the obligations at law pertaining to accommodation, specifically the Human Rights Code. The County of Bruce is updating our current HR policy E6, currently uh, titled Alcohol, Drug, Emotional Problems, to reflect a new title of E6, Fit for Work. This update includes setting expectations and clarifying employee obligations in relation to impairment in the workplace. The Fit for Work policy sets out general obligations that apply to all employees. This policy affirms employee responsibilities surrounding impairment in the workplace and coming prepared fit for work. The county has approached the potential impacts of cannabis in the workplace within the context of a fitness for, for, for work framework. An amended policy entitled fit for work has been developed and rolled out to our, and will be rolled out to our employees and supervisors. The purpose of the fit for work policy is to confirm employees responsibility to be fit for duty, which includes being free from ad adverse effects from alcohol or drugs. Communicating expectations regarding substance use, misabuse, and abuse. Inform employees that recreational cannabis is not allowed in the workplace at any time and while in the course of duty. Promote and encourage early diagnosis and treatment of our employees who may suffer from a drug or alcohol disability. Confirm the county's commitment to support and provide reasonable efforts for accommodating employees suffering from drug or alcohol dependencies and respect the dignity and privacy of employees. Currently, the county's benefit plans do not include medical cannabis as an eligible drug in the plan coverage. To date, medical cannabis is not approved drug under the Canadian Food and Drug Act and does not yet have a drug ID number. At this time, drug testing for cannabis use is not included in the updated policy. If a future need is identified, we will investigate applicable case law and work obligations at that time. There are for no financial, legal, or staffing IT considerations associated with this, and the senior management team have had this draft circulated. So the recommendation that the updated HR policy E6 fit for work be adopted. Thank you. What's next? The, uh, okay, there it is. Their closed meeting. That the committee moved in their closed meeting pursuant to Section 239.2B of the Municipal Act 2001 as amended to discuss personnel matters about identifiable individual, including municipal or local board employees, and uh, Section 239.3.1 uh, of the Municipal Act 2001 as amended for the purpose of educating or training members. Need a motion to go into closed. Moved by Robert, second by Dave. Any discussion on the motion? All those in favor of the motion? I'm assuming we're live. So we're back in open session with the Homes. Uh, actually, this is the Human, Serv Human Resources Committee of the County of Bruce. 
and we're right down to uh, in our closed session we've uh, we've uh, come out of closed and we've given direction to our staff and number four we need to act on recommendation and that, that in accordance with the procedure by law staff be authorized to be authorized and directed to give effect to yeah. the actions of the Human Resources Committee in respect to all resolutions passed during the October 18th, 2018 meeting. There was that uh, moved by Ann, second by Mike. All those in favor? That's carried. Our next meeting is November the 1st, 2018. And we'll have a motion from Robert and David to adjourn. Thank you. We're adjourned. So, Mr. Warden, would you like to do the home?